All right, well, here to talk a little bit about uh, Liftfoil's new products that just launched uh, a couple of weeks ago. We've got a few different products on hand here. We have our uh, current Lift 4, uh, and then we also have here our new Lift 5 and our new Lift X, which is just takes e-foiling to a whole nother level. Um, I think the biggest thing to talk about here a little bit um, is this kind of from the bottom up wholesale changes that they've made um, to the construction of their boards to pretty much everything about their boards. And a lot of that starts with the fact that before you had um, this battery cavity here where you had to slot your battery in, you had some not really complicated, but time consuming cabling that you had to go through to get everything ready and get yourself up and running um, and out on the water. So, you know, you get your battery in here. The other thing was your mast. You would have to go ahead and bolt your mast to the bottom of the board. Um, you can see under here, these are in via bolts. You would also then have to bolt in your wing. So, not a big deal other than the fact that it's just takes a little bit of time to do it. And when you know, when you wanna go out and spend a couple of hours out on the water, you know, time is of the essence to be ready to go. So gone with the new Lift 5 and Lift X is all of that. So we've completely redesigned this to have the battery, the electrical, the cooling, everything slot in place with just the simple battery. So you slot this in, boom. The battery is installed as opposed to what it would take with that. Similarly, with your mast and your wings, and we didn't we didn't send the right wing, so this is this is not the the new LCS system. But typically, you'll just do the same thing that I'm about to show you here with the mast, which is this LCS system, where when you're ready to get out on the water, you slot your mast into place. This cantilever, boom. No bolting, no anything. And then, like I said, similarly, you do the same thing uh, with the wing here. We just didn't have that one available um, for the show today. But that is um, all new uh, for both the Lift 5 and the Lift X. And Lift um, invented the first commercial e-foil. Um, so Nick Leeson, uh, the company's based down in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. Um, Nick Leeson, the co-founder, along with his father, kind of pioneered e-foiling. He you know, was a waterman his entire life, spent all his time on the water and just loved foiling, but was like, the conditions need to be right. I don't have access to certain areas. What can I make that gets me to the places that I wanna go? And so they came up with the idea of an e-foil. Um, it's been a few iterations over the past decade um, of the changes that they've made with that. Um, and yeah, like I said, they were the first to come out uh, with the first commercial e-foil. Um, a lot of their patents are used by their competitors. Um, so Lyft is really kind of the, the top of the pops in terms of um, product. And, you know, it's like I said with Nick, it's all about the experience on the water. Yeah. and. He just wants to make the best possible product out there to experience the water. Uh, that is the new hand controller as well. So I'll grab the other one here. So this is what, uh, this is your propulsion system essentially, or what you control the propulsion system with. So that's your, there's a couple of different ones you've, you've got here. We've got this set up on the Lift 5. The Lift X has um, the more propeller style, um, just a little bit of a different performance with that. Um, and then it's just all controlled with the hand controller. This is our older controller. As you can see, we look a lot fancier now, Ooh. full color display. Um, but this is what you control your speed and everything with. Um, so when you, you get up on your board, you set a speed that you're comfortable with, get zooming out into the water, get up on your board, set the speed to whatever you want. Um, we've got about a two hour runtime um, with these. And if you noticed as well, um, the battery's slightly smaller than what it was in the Lift 4. Not to mention the fact that it slots in so easily, um, but two hour ride time on it. So with the new Lift 5 battery, you get an 80% charge in 60 minutes. With the new Lift X battery, um, you will get an 80% charge in 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, and also you'll kind of see with the profile of, of the board now between 
you know, you can kind of see the, uh, a little bit of a difference in the thickness, but it's more around the shaping. You can see right here, shaped by Sean Ordonez. Sean Ordonez is a really renowned surfboard shaper. Um, and so they've worked with him to shape the new Lift X and the new Lift 5 boards um, just to give you a better ride. It gives you a better feel while you're on the water. And essentially, especially I should say, with the Lift X, it gives you more of that surfboard feel. So the Lift X is not necessarily for a more experienced rider, although more experienced people will tend to gravitate towards the X simply because of those um, you know, performance uh, pieces of it that give you more of a surf feel. And again, that goes back to Nick wanting more of a surf experience while he's out foiling and going, all right, how do we make this board more like a surfboard? So, you know, when I'm downwinding or I'm, you know, whatever it is that I'm doing, I want that, I want more of a feel of, of a surfboard under my feet. And so that's, that's where the X's uh, come from. Available uh, for the Lift 4 and the new Lift 5s. Um, and we launched this last year, but it's called the Blowfish. So it's essentially an inflatable, um, outer ring that goes around the board that aids like if you're just learning you've got more stability when you get on the board when you're going to get up on the board training wheels, it's essentially training wheels for an e-foil but even more so um, it's great to take your dog out on it it's great to take your kids out on it like you've just got that more stability people fish off of it um, people will just hop on their board throw their rod on their shoulder, put their box on the front and zip out on their e-foil to get out to, and again, it allows you to get out to your fun little spot without having to take a whole boat out or whatever. So that blowfish um, component adding on to it, just that's a perfect way of saying it, is kind of like training wheels for an e-foil. Just gives you that added stability and, and comfort, you know, doing something new because it's um, as exhilarating as it is. Um, I think for a lot of people it seems inaccessible as well, that it seems too difficult, and it really is not. Um, it really isn't. Uh, it's enjoyable whether you get up on it and you're actually foiling, or if you want to just go out and have the hand controller and zip around on the water a little while. I mean, it's just a completely new and novel way to experience the water, and um, yeah, really excited to get the new Lift 5 and the Lift X out to folks this year.